Yeah, welcome to Austrian Stocks in English presented by Palfinger, the English spoken weekly summary for the Austrian stock market, positioned every Sunday in the mostly German language podcast, audio CDD in the podcasts Wiener Börse, Sport, Musik und mehr. My name is Christian and I will be later on joined by the absolutely smart Alison. I found a keynote for this podcast episode on YouTube. Europe needs to establish substantial large pools of capital. As a live guest at CNBC in London on the 5th of October 2023, Vienna Stock Exchange CEO Christoph Bojan speaks about the current complex market conditions for new issues and why several European companies have to recently opted to float in the United States. In order to strengthen Europe as a listing venue, Bojan sees pension systems that are at least partially oriented towards the capital market are indispensable. He also emphasizes why investments in Austrian equities are interesting even or especially in the current challenging environment. Historically low valuations and an average dividend yield of around 5%. Our following script is based on our 21st Austria weekly and we saw a challenging week 41 for the ATX with the Israel conflict but bottom line it was a good week. ATX gained 0.88%. News came from SBO, Andritz, Amag, Contron, First Alpine, Wiener Berger, Akrana and Kapstreffikom. And these news are spoken now by the absolutely smart Alison. Alison. Thank you, Christian, for calling me absolutely smart. And these were the news of week 41. Monday SBO, Scholler Blackman Oil Field Equipment AG, SBO has completed the acquisition of Praxis Completion Technology announced in June. The purchase price for the acquisition of all shares in the company amounts to MUSD 22, plus compensation for working capital adjustments and earnings generated from January 1, 2023 until closing. The latter had not yet been determined at the time of closing in October. The Dubai-based company with 40 employees is one of Middle East's leading providers of Packer Systems and Completion Products offering tailored solutions that extend well life, assure well integrity and improve well performance. The bolt-on acquisition strengthens SBO's presence in the Middle East, the market with the highest growth dynamic in the energy sector. SBO, weekly performance, 0.58%. Tuesday Andritz, International Technology Group Andritz will rebuild a paper machine at Hallman Papers Bravik in Mill in Sweden to provide maximum production flexibility. Startup is planned for autumn 2024. This order follows Hallman Papers' recent successful entry into the packaging market with an innovative lightweight corrugated board product. The requirements for container board and book paper production are very different. Container board requires extremely high dewatering capacity and specific strength properties, while book paper needs excellent formation and homogeneous filler retention, explains Gerald Steiner Andritz, Vice President Paper and Board. Andritz, weekly performance, minus 0.79%. AMAG, AMAG signs a multi-year contract renewal with Airbus for rolled products. In the coming years, the aluminum producer from Ranchefin will supply certified rolled products to Airbus, which will mainly be required for the structure and outer skin of all Airbus aircraft families. We have succeeded in strengthening our market position with our most important aerospace customer over many years by providing reliable deliveries of quality products. This gives us the opportunity to continue the growth path taken by Airbus with new, innovative and sustainable products from state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, said Gerald Mayer, CEO of AMAG Austria Metal AG. AMAG, weekly performance, minus 1.37%. Contron, I at company Contron announces the securing of two design wins with a combined volume of approximately 100 million euros. These wins involve Contron providing IFX systems to be installed on aircraft operated by multiple airlines, including one that utilizes satellite-based technology. For the first design win, Contron will supply major components of a satellite-based IFEC, in-flight entertainment and communications system which will be installed in aircraft from multiple airlines over five years starting in 2024. Contron will deliver leading-edge technology, allowing connectivity through geostationary, geo, medium-earth orbit, MAO, 
and low Earth orbit, ALIO satellite constellations. Potential revenues amount to roughly 90 million euros over a five-year span. In addition, Contron announces a second design win with a volume of around 10 million euros over a two-year span. Starting in 2024, Contron will supply a major satellite communications operator with IFEC equipment which will be installed in aircraft from multiple airlines. The agreement includes options to increase the volume and add further deployments. Contron, weekly performance, 2.42%. Vostalpine, only a few weeks after the official start of construction at the Vostalpine site in Donowitz, the traditional groundbreaking ceremony for green textile takes place today at the group's headquarters in Linz. In the first step of the phased approach, one electric arc furnace, EVE, will be built at each of the sites in Linz and Donowitz. Integrating the two green electricity-powered EFs into steel production makes it possible to electrify energy-intensive processes, thus reducing CO2 emissions by around 30% from 2027. This corresponds to an annual saving of almost 4 million tons of CO2 or 5% of domestic emissions. The investment volume for both projects amounts to 1.5 billion euros, of which Linz accounts for around 1 billion euros Vostalpine weekly performance, minus 3.44%. Wednesday Wienerberger, at its Capital Markets Day, on October 10 and 11, near Brussels, Belgium, Wienerberger, as a result of its successful transformation, presented to investors, analysts, business partners and selected guests its strong focus on innovation and the broadening of its portfolio of sustainable solutions in the fields of ecological new build and renovation as well as water and energy management. Although we are currently operating in a difficult market environment, Wienerberger's clear focus on proactive cost management, innovation and sustainable solutions for ecological new build, renovation and water management, as well as the increased resilience of our business model, are enabling us to successfully compete in the face of a challenging market environment and to be in an even better position to take advantage for future challenges and opportunities in these segments. Our focus on strong growth confirms the EBITDA target for 2023 and predicts further growth for 2024 and midterm 2026, says Hema Schoink, Wienerberger CEO. Wienerberger, weekly performance, minus 0.25%. Thursday Agrana, Agrana, the International Fruit, Starch and Sugar Group, generated revenue of €1,959.50 million in the first half of the 2023.24 financial year, an increase of 9.3% year-on-year, H1 prior year, €1,792.30 million. Operating profit, EBIT, jumped to €110.9 million, Euros, H1 prior year, €11.10 million. Agrana has adjusted well to the new market dynamics, particularly in raw material and energy prices. This is reflected in a good performance in the first half of the year, especially the fruit segment where business was very good in fruit preparations for the food service industry and in the fruit juice concentrate activities in the sugar segment, with strong summer demand from the beverage industry, performed well, emphasis is Agrana Chief Executive Officer Marcus Mullison. In the starch segment, Agrana is dealing with a sluggish economy and with inventory reduction by customers in Europe. Agrana, weekly performance, 3.97%. Friday Caps Traffic Com, Caps Traffic Com, KTC, has signed a contract for a groundbreaking CITS, Cooperative Intelligent Transport Systems, projects with the German Autobahn GmbH of the federal government on October 4, 2023. The contract is expected to be worth 7 million euros and can grow up to 36 million euros if all conditional stages for the introduction of further services are fully confirmed. Under the project, mobile barrier boards indicating limited time work sites will be equipped with so-called its roadside stations, IRS, which send warning messages directly to approaching vehicles. This can reduce the risk of accidents in dangerous roadworks areas, as drivers are informed more quickly and directly about roadworks. Caps Traffic Com, weekly performance, minus 3.01%. And now bye-bye from Allison. And Christian, we wish you a great week. Hear you next Sunday.
Bye.